video my name is Marcia for those of you who know me my name is Marsha as well and just thank you again for tuning in um, I hope you liked my video last week I decided to invite my nephew to go and try my food because I think yeah how do you know my food tastes nice um, if someone doesn't taste it it's easy when you're eating you're like mmm it's so nice so nice and it really isn't nice and you just you're just eating it knowing that it doesn't taste that nice but you're just gonna you're not gonna admit it that sometimes your food doesn't bang um i do have days like that where my food um is not always that nice sometimes i'm like do you know what i always find and i don't know if you find it do you ever make the best food and literally the smallest portion it happened to me with this satay chicken so I thought I fancy satay chicken I wasn't gonna order it from the Chinese I thought you know what let me just make it myself I literally went to the supermarket got the chicken breast but when I say I just got some small pack of chicken breast I wouldn't say it was small but in hindsight with the amount of family that I have I've got f people like four of us we've got to eat and I think I should have bought two packs. I'm greedy. I think we did have some left over, but you know when you're just dishing out and you're just portioning how much meat that you have? That was literally me. And I think that's what sometimes I have, those moments where my food is so tasty, but I've made such a small portion. And this is the, this was the time where I made such a small portion. And then sometimes when you, you think, yeah, I'm gonna make, this food and you literally put your heart and soul into it and it doesn't even taste nice i do have those moments too i really do and they're like the they annoy me they really annoy me because like you literally i don't know about you like putting the seasoning stirring it up you're like mm, it smells nice and then you taste it doesn't happen to me very often because smell is very important i don't taste as i go on i don't know about you do you guys taste as you go on or do you just judge or know your judgment just because of how many years you've been cooking for me I go by my smell I go by what it looks like um, so yeah that's kind of what I do and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't in this case the satty chicken was so nice so juicy um, I said it already to you before but I like to use baking powder uh, or baking soda after like once the chicken's all seasoned I like to just sprinkle a little bit of that on chicken breast because it, for me it makes it juicy it doesn't give it's not dry I hate I dislike dry chicken breast and I, 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 I sometimes when I go to restaurants that's probably why sometimes I don't really like to get chicken because I'm kind of more disappointed with chicken when it's dry and I will never order chicken breasts. Um, so like if I went Nando's, I wouldn't be going to get chicken breast um, or butterfly chicken because it can be so dry and yeah, I don't like dry chicken. Although you might have a look at my video and be like, oh, but your plate's dry, there's no sauce on your on your um, rice. Well that's what you didn't see I I used the peanut sauce that I made and I literally drizzled it over the rice and I just served it with cucumbers and it was yeah it was nice so let me stop going on please have a look at the video let me know how you get on how you get on with trying it and um, let me know some of the dishes that you want to see um, and yeah enjoy your week and I'll see you next week Thursday so as you know, don't need to say it, my chicken is washed and ready. Um, these are just some of the seasonings that I use. I will put everything that I use in the description. A lot of it is like curry powder as well as um, garlic powder. So this is just me mixing it up. I did use sesame oil um, just to kind of make it a bit more 
moist. I felt like the, the, the seasoning that I actually used didn't necessarily stick to the chicken and I really wanted that kind of sticky texture. So I literally just threw um, sesame oil. And I also used fish oil. You don't have to use fish oil. Again, you don't have to use chicken. I'm sure that you can do exactly the same, but with tofu. This is me using curry paste and... I use peanut butter, but crunchy peanut butter, um, for the texture of the sauce. And I also added coconut milk. You will see the reasons why. So I literally had to change the bowls because it just couldn't fit. And here is my seasoned chicken. I'm just literally trying to brown it um, ready for when I add the peanut butter, um, well, the satay sauce. So I'm literally just stirring. So I've literally just got peanuts. These are salted peanuts. I have chopped them and I have beginning to roast them. You can probably find plain peanuts, but I really struggled, if to be honest, to find plain peanuts. Um, so I had to be mindful that they are salty. Um, and so I didn't use too much of those. So I put the chicken aside. It's nearly cooked, but I just wanted to be able to prepare my sauce and when I say the sauce it's the satay sauce to go with the chicken. So this is the sauce that I made earlier. I'm literally cooking it down. I do save some of this sauce because I use it um, for my dipping sauce but this is the rest of the sauce and I hope you enjoyed my video. I just served my um, satay chicken with boiled rice and cucumber. A nice, simple dish with dipping sauce. And yeah, please let me know how you get on. And thanks again. Remember to like and subscribe and turn on that bell. Bye.